What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. If you guys remember, about seven or eight months back, I made a video showing you guys all of my Valorant settings that I use for best performance and best gameplay. Since then, my settings have changed a lot and there's a lot of stuff that I've tweaked with and messed with that I didn't really know about beforehand. In this video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a new and improved updated settings guide for Valorant. We're gonna be going over a lot of important settings in this video, so make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss anything. Right before we jump into the video though, guys, if you guys wanna improve and rank up at Valorant, then I would highly suggest that you check out today's sponsor, Valorant Tracker. Valorant Tracker is the number one most popular tool for tracking your stats and improving. With Valorant Tracker, you can look at KD ratios, win rates, headshot percentages, and so much more information. One tool in Valorant Tracker that has really helped me improve is looking at your agent win rates on each map. I noticed that my win rate on Lotus was a lot lower than all of the other maps and this was likely due to the agents that I was playing on this map. When I noticed this, I changed the agents that I play and I started playing Killjoy a lot more on Lotus and I started winning so many more games. This is just one of the many features that Valorant Tracker has and on top of all of that, Valorant Tracker is completely free to download and use. So what are you waiting for? Go down in the description or in the pinned comment and click my link to download Valorant Tracker today. Thank you so much to Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right back into the video. Starting off the settings with the general tab, the first thing that I've changed is my enemy outline color. I used to use the default red outline, but now I've switched over to yellow. If you guys didn't already know, the enemy outline color is the color that the enemies will glow so that you can tell a friendly apart from an enemy. I found that I react a lot quicker to the yellow color and it's actually a lot easier to see for me personally. I'd recommend you guys to experiment with different colors and see which one you like, but for me, yellow is my favorite at the moment. Moving on from this, my sensitivity has not changed at all. I'm still using 0 0.33 on 800 DPI, which is the sensitivity that I've been using since the close beta. If you can't find your perfect sensitivity, I have a guide on that as well, which I'll link in the description and I recommend that you guys check that out as well. One setting in this tab that I have changed since my last video is raw input buffer. In my last settings video, I told you guys not to use raw input buffer unless your mouse has a really high pulling rate, but I've actually changed my opinion since. Raw input buffer takes your mouse movements directly from your mouse and gets rid of any alterations or enhancements that Windows might put on it. I use a G Pro Superlight, which has a thousand hertz pulling rate, but I've noticed that with raw input buffer on, my mouse movements feel a lot more responsive. I'm not sure if this is placebo or not, but I've been using it for a long time now, and I actually really like this setting enabled. Moving on to my map settings, I haven't changed my map settings at all, but if there's one setting that you need to change here is to make sure that you have keep player centered off. With keep player centered off, you're actually able to see the whole mini map rather than just a portion of it, and this is required to change if you want cross map awareness from your mini map. Moving on down this list, all of these settings are pretty much personal preference and nothing has really changed. One setting that's kind of unconventional is I have show bullet tracers off. This makes it so that I can't see my own bullet tracers, but you can still see enemy tracers, and this makes it a lot easier to see enemies when you're shooting at them, in my opinion. Again, all of these settings are pretty much personal preference and you can copy mine if you want, but this is just what I use. Moving on to the next tab, which is the controls tab. All of my controls in Valorant are pretty much default except for toggle zoom. When I'm opping, I like to use the middle mouse button as my button to toggle the far or close zoom. I also have my push to talk key on my mouse buttons, which is really helpful and convenient for me. Again, you can copy these controls if you want, but they're basically just the default controls. One setting that I have changed here is I've switched my auto prioritization to strongest. This makes it so that whenever you pick up an orb, place a piece of util, or plant the spike, it automatically pulls out your strongest weapon so you don't accidentally have your knife out. The next tab that we're going to be checking out is the crosshairs tab. I have a lot of different crosshairs that I use, but the main ones that I like to use are 1422, 1420, dot on size 2, and 1213 with outlines on. 
I change my crosshair all the time and it's really personal preference, so I recommend just finding one that works well for you. If you don't know what crosshair to use, I'd recommend just using one of the ones that I listed because those ones are very common and very standard. Moving on to the video tab, which has some stuff that I actually have changed. First of all, make sure you're playing on full screen mode. Full screen is the best for reduced input delay and best performance. I personally have my frame rate uncapped, but if you want to cap your FPS, that's fine. And make sure that if you have this setting available to you, that you turn on NVIDIA to on plus boost. This setting helps reduce input latency and increases performance. Moving on to the graphics quality tab, make sure that if you have multi-threaded rendering available to you at the top, that you turn this on because this will allow Valorant to use more threads in your CPU and make your game run a lot better. I have all four of my graphics quality set to low, but these next two settings are two settings that I've actually changed. Before, I had both of these on the lowest as possible, but now I have them set to MSAA4X and my anastrophic filtering to 8X. What these two settings do is it basically smooths the edges around objects, and for me, it makes it a lot easier to see enemies and makes them look a lot less pixelated. This setting might affect your FPS though, so be careful about that if you have a lower end PC. And the next setting that I changed is I have beta experimental sharpening enabled. Basically, experimental sharpening, as the name implies, sharpens the image and makes lines around objects a lot clearer, and for me, it makes it a lot easier to see certain things. I'd recommend messing around with all of these settings, but right now these are the current graphic settings that I'm using and I really like them. Moving on to the stats tab, I have my FPS and my packet loss displayed in text, but I actually have the graph on for ping just to see if I'm getting any ping spikes or if my ping is unstable. My internet is kind of shaky sometimes, so this setting really helps me keep that in check. And finally, moving on to the audio settings, the main setting that I would recommend turning on here is to enable HRTS. HRTF stands for Head Related Transfer Function, and it makes it so that you can pinpoint where a sound is coming from a lot easier. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this, and some people really like this setting, but some people really don't. But for me personally, it has helped me a lot. I'd highly recommend that you guys use this setting as well. The key is to mess around with all of these settings and see which ones you like and see which ones work for you. But as far as it goes for me, these settings have helped me improve a lot in the past seven to eight months. At the end of the day, settings are personal preference, and as long as you're comfortable with the settings that you're using, that's all that matters. Anyways guys, in this video, I showed you guys my new updated settings for Valorant, and these are the settings that I would use if I had to start on a fresh account. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for showing support on the channel. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Life has been crazy recently, but I've been doing my best to get as many of these videos out and help you guys as much as I possibly can. You guys have changed my life and I'm forever grateful to have you guys. And I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos, leaves comments, likes, subscribes, everything. You guys are the best. I have my Discord server linked down in the description below. Make sure to go join that. We have a super chill community. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or night to watch this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, it's